We needed a portable air conditioner and didn't want to spend a lot of money. Here's how we made one for $11. We used an old cooler, a small battery operated fan, batteries, a piece of scrap flake board, two short drywall screws, a rubber band, some sandpaper, and a few hand tools. Here's everything you need to make one too. First, you take off the hinges which connect the top to the bottom of your cooler. Then, you remove the strap which connects the top to the bottom of your cooler. You can see this cooler has a ledge on the inside about an inch or so down from the top. You want to make sure your cooler has a ledge like this. Here's the cooler with the lid removed. We saved the hinges, the strap, the screws in case we ever wanted to use them again. Next, measure the inside of the cooler, from front to back and from side to side, just above the ledge. Put the top of the cooler on a piece of scrap flake board. Trace around the bottom of the lid where it sits on the ledge of the cooler. Go all the way around. You're going to make a shelf which will rest on the ledge inside the cooler. Next, measure your tracing to make sure your shelf will fit inside the cooler and rest on the ledge. Use a compass to measure from the center of the fan to the outside of the fan blades. Now do you see the black cross? One line of the cross is an inch and a half in from the end of the shelf. The other line of the cross is the center of the shelf measured from back to front. Put the pencil of your compass in the middle of the cross and the point of the compass even with the back to front center line. Next, draw a circle. Do the same on the other end of your shelf. Now use your jigsaw to cut out the shelf. Then use your jigsaw to cut out your two circles. Use a piece of sandpaper to smooth the outer edges of your shelf. Put the shelf in the cooler and attach two short drywall screws on opposite sides of, your hole, of one hole. Position the fan so it's pointed down into the cooler and hold it in place with the rubber band hooked, hooked to the drywall screws. Here's what the finished product looks like. Put a bag of ice or bottles of frozen water or tea or some other frozen thing in the bottom of the cooler, turn on the fan and cold air is forced out, the out of the open hole. With the fan we used, we can close the lid on the cooler so when we aren't using it, the frozen things stay frozen. This has been a midnight production. I hope you enjoyed it.